Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a unique filter for your image galleries in a Squarespace 7 website. Now, it's really important to mention the codes in this tutorial are for Squarespace 7 websites like Brime themes or Bedford themes. If you're using the latest version of Squarespace known as 7.1, I have a completely different tutorial for you and a link is in the description beneath the video. But if you're in Squarespace 7, you're in the right place. We're going to create a filter effect and we're going to combine it with a hover effect for an on-page image gallery. Now the codes I'm using today are also listed in the description beneath this video, but I'd love to walk you through them step by super simple step so you understand exactly what you need to change to get the look you're going for on your own website. Okay, so let's hop into my demo site and take a look at how this works. So here we are in my demo site. I have a slideshow gallery here at the top and then a carousel gallery underneath it. And we're going to be editing both with some custom CSS. So to do all of the stuff we're going to do today, we need to navigate to the custom CSS file in our site by going to design on our main menu here and then scrolling down to custom CSS. Now, again, the codes I'm using today are beneath the, the video here, but I'd like to unpack them one by one so you understand how they work on your own site. So the first thing we need to do is let the browser know what we're trying to change by naming the element. The name of this slideshow image is SQS Gallery Design Stacked Slide. So after we've listed that, I'm going to open up a bracket and I'm going to say filter gray scale parentheses 100%. And that's going to give us a full 100% grayscale filter for that slideshow gallery. While that's pretty awesome, we don't have any cool hover effects right now. And that's one of my favorite parts. So let's say we want this to be grayscale only when my cursor is hovered over it. I just need to add the little colon symbol and the word hover. And now we're going to get that cool hover effect that's going to turn it grayscale on a hover. So what if you want it in the opposite direction? What if you want it to be grayscale unless someone's hovered over it with their cursor? I'm going to copy that code we just used and paste it down here. And what we're going to do is move that grayscale 100% back to zero and remove hover from that second line. So what it says now is SQS gallery design stack slide hover. So when someone's hovered over the image, filter grayscale 100%, give it 100% grayscale filter. And then underneath it, our second line just lists gallery design stack slide filter grayscale zero. So we get this full color effect unless I hover over it with my cursor. Pretty awesome, isn't it? So there are a lot of other filters you can use besides grayscale. There are cool things like hue, rotate, and invert, and all kinds of really cool color stuff. I have a whole list of them available on my site at insidethesquare.co forward slash image. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash image. But before you get excited about those, let's take a look at this ga uh, carousel gallery as well. That's our second kind here. That has a completely different name. That is known as the, let's just remove those codes there. That is the SQS Gallery Design Strip Slide. And then we can add a filter grayscale 100%. Oops, I forgot my brackets there, or parentheses. There we go. Now we've got that 100% grayscale filter on our carousel gallery. You'll notice the gallery above, just fine. It's back to normal. We're just working with the carousel now. We can also add that hover effect here as well, just by adding the text hover. And now when I hover over the individual image, it's gonna get that grayscale effect. And we can do that same thing where we reverse it by repeating the line, removing hover from the top one, and changing the hover down to zero. So now we're gonna get full color on a hover. Now we're saying take the SQS gallery design strip slide, give it 100% grayscale filter, unless I've hovered over it and then take that filter back to zero. And we're getting this effect. So that's it for this quick tutorial. The codes are listed beneath the video so you can identify either the slideshow gallery or the carousel gallery and work with that hover effect. And again, there are a ton of different filters that you can use for your images. And I have a whole host of them listed for free on my website at insidethesquare.co forward slash image. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash image. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you learned something awesome. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.